Virgo, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Otero, and I'm here to give you guys your weekend reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's coming towards you guys this weekend. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Virgo, as you all know, my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you're meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. And if anyone wants to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Virgo, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, what is the overall energy for my Virgos this weekend, universe? King of Swords. Man, I, it flipped. I don't know. I'm going to keep it like this. King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's mad. Somebody's angry. Somebody's expressing something here. Two of Wands. There is some confusion because you're not sure what path to take. Damn. Okay, I got the star here and the sun. Virgo, there are some decisions. There's some confusion this weekend, and there's definitely some options. Oh, wow. Okay, Virgo, let's get started here. Virgo, you're in this energy right now where you have two paths to choose from. And ultimately, at the end of the day, what I'm really getting here is... Whatever it is that you choose to do, it's going to lead you into finding some wish fulfillment, obtaining some healing, definitely being happy here. Right now, you're confused. You may be dealing with several options here. You're not sure who to choose. Your emotions can be everywhere right now. But you know that ultimately at the end of the day, you got to make you got to make a decision. There's a cycle that needs to be closed out here. Virgo, if you have a one more one then if you have more than one option this weekend, you're going to have to make a decision. No more playing the field, baby. And I honestly feel at the end of the day, Virgo, you know who you want to pick here. Okay? You pretty much know who's the person you want to be with. But damn, all your options just seem so good. Like one person gives you certain things. The other person gives you other things. And you, if it were up to you, you would migrate both people into one body so you can have the perfect partner. But unfortunately, that can't happen. You need to come towards whomever it is that you're going to go towards and offer that cup of love. Unfortunately, you cannot offer this cup to two people here. Sorry. You may be dealing with the fire sign. But you have some options here and there's some decisions here. You are going to offer this cup of love, but you could only offer it to one person. And this weekend, I feel that you have to decide. You can't continue being on this path of confusion. Because now you're causing yourself turmoil. You're causing yourself a headache. Now, Virgo, if this isn't your energy, this can be your person's energy. Take the story as it resonates. But someone is definitely making a decision. And it's emotionally causing you some problems here because you are sad. I feel that you may have feelings but for both people. If not feelings, but you have a strong like for both people. But it's just a decision that you have to make. You can't offer your your love to two people, unfortunately. It's either one or the other. Queen of Pentacles. You may be dealing with an earth sign here, but it's time for you to go within and choose who you're going to give your love to, whether it's an earth sign. You may be married and met somebody else. But it's time for you to go within and really soul search who you want to be with here, Virgo. You can't be reckless anymore. 
you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's time to choose the path that you rightfully belong on. I feel with this page of swords here, um, you may have become a little bit bored in in the relationship that you were in prior to this other relationship coming in. This is why you probably stepped out of your relationship and looked for someone else. Or you were just looking to have a good time, but now you're in this energy where, damn, you got to make a decision. And I'm going to be really, really honest with you, Virgo. Now, Virgo, <clears throat> if this is your person that's doing this to you, ultimately, at the end of the day, you're going to choose the person that you already have the stability with, the person that you already have the family with. The person that you possibly communicate with on a daily basis. And what I mean communicate is physically under the same roof, person you're married to. You're going to choose to stay on the path that you're in. You're going to choose to want to heal the relationship that you initially walked away from. Now you're going to want to put in the work in this connection. You no longer want to be reckless. See, Virgo, I feel that you're making a decision here to not end the marriage that you're in. To renew your commitment to this person. This weekend is going to be a lot of soul searching. You're going to see what you will and will not lose in both connections. And what I'm honestly getting here, Virgo, is that if you have children with one of your options, you're going to end up choosing to stay with the, the person that, that you have a family with. And the reason of it is because you don't want to walk away from your kids and leave them in an unstable situation. You know, truthfully, at the end of the day, this relationship with their parent can be healed. Now, Virgo, if this is your person, again, take the reading as it resonates. But there is somebody making a decision here to, to recommit to the relationship. There's already stability in this relationship. There's already a family. There's possibly a home that has been purchased. There's already been growth. There is more history here with the person that you have a family with than with the person that just came in out of nowhere. Yes, it was fun to hang out with this person. Yes, it was fun to get to know them. Maybe some of you guys did cross that line and sleep with that person. But that's what it, the intentions of that relationship was, is what to, it was to have fun. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, you needed to invest and come back towards your family. And I feel that this weekend, you are going to be celebrating a new, a new commitment to your wife, to your husband, to your kids, to your home, to your family. You're not wanting to miss this opportunity to see your family grow, to see your children grow up, to be part of all of their big milestones like you're making a decision to stick it out with your person through thick and thick through bad or good you know that at the end of the day your heart belongs to this person and you're willing to make make the changes that are necessary to bring this re this marriage this relationship back into a stable union because i do have the king of pentacles here and i know for a fact the queen of pentacles is there she is the Queen of Pentacles is right here. Virgo, you're going to be making a, a decision this weekend. If you were dealing with somebody else out of your marriage, you'll be making a decision to cut that person out. You will be explaining to them that there is no growth, that there is no future, that you are planning to stay home with your family. You continue to want to make these plans with your family. There is growth already with your family, and you're not walking away from that. You will be closing out any third-party energies here because at the end of the day, Virgo you want to do right by your family you already stepped out maybe or they stepped out on you virgo again switch the role switch the story but there is an energy of saving a marriage saving a family and leaving the third party behind so there will be some communication this weekend after a lot of soul searching after really looking at the situation a lot of emotional communication or a lot of emotional conflict Virgo, there's a decision that's being made, and that is to drop the third party and move towards the family and achieve this Ten of Cups again. Achieve happiness, wish fulfillment. You will be leaving a relationship out in the cold. A relationship that should have never been part of your life. 
you're leaving it out in the cold you're walking away from it because you're going back towards your family you're going back to rebuild this connection you're going back to heal your family Alrighty, Virgo, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you need. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Guys, and if you want to book a personal, the info is in the description box below. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.